Did they or didn't they? It's the alleged cheating scandal launching a thousand saucy headlines. Deflate gate. Tonight, the New England Patriots are fighting back against accusations of unsportsmanlike conduct. Did they deflate footballs during their championship game to gain a strategic advantage? The first I heard about it was at a halftime when I heard that the NFL needed both teams' footballs and I was to try to help get our footballs into the, the league's hands, so I don't know why they needed them. They just needed them. You know, at first I didn't really give it too much thought. I'm thinking, okay. And then as more attention seemed to be given to this, it was kind of like, you know, is this going to be a story? What happened during the course of the game to potentially cause a deflation? Well, we go to the ideal gas law, okay, which is PV equals NRT. So it became a media frenzy and a tremendous distraction. Why would he take a bag a full of balls into the bathroom with him? I mean, just what? nature, he, nature calls he, he right there. He takes then. his responsibility <laughs> seriously. Yes. Don't let these out of your sight. It pisses you off that it becomes the whole focal point of everybody that talks about you. You know, a good football team has got to be like a racehorse. You got to have the blinders on going straight ahead. It did matter, but it didn't matter because somebody else was handling it. Bill was on that. He told the team point blank, don't concern yourself with this. You have to focus on what your job is. For our jobs as, you know, assistant coaches, we were, we were grinding. That week was a game plan week for us. It was like we were playing on Sunday. So for three straight days, he's dealing with the ball and we know he would have liked to be in there where he's at his best, and that's in the film room of devising a game plan to help us win a world championship. Kind of as everything settled in and was talked about, I talked to the people here that would have had some knowledge of the preparation of the footballs. Let's take some footballs, let's go through the exact same process that we went through. You know, we saw a decrease in, in the air pressure of all the footballs, it was not exact, but it was consistent. Um, you know, we used multiple gauges. Uh, I saw at that point that there was a big discrepancy between gauges. Based on that, I felt like there was an explanation that I could give that was certainly uh, worth consideration. And so that's what I did. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an expert in footballs. I'm not an expert in football measurements. I'm just telling you what I know would not say that I'm Mona Lisa Vito of the football world, as she was in the car expertise area. Can you answer the question? No, it is a trick question. Why is it a trick question? Because Chevy didn't make a 327 in 55. The 327 didn't come out till 62. And it wasn't offered in the Bel Air with a four barrel carb till 64. However, in 1964, the correct ignition timing would be four degrees before top dead center. I mean, I've seen the movie, you know, 50 times, so. She was the best, that's all time great expert witness. I wasn't trying to be that. The Patriots were trying to be Super Bowl champions and not tabloid fodder. We decided on the plane ride out there that it made sense to just put an end to it so that the whole rest of the week wasn't spent answering questions about it. I want to set the tone for the week that, you know, this was a bunch of hogwash. If the Wells investigation is not able to definitively determine that our organization tampered with the air pressure in the footballs, I would expect and hope that the league would apologize to our entire team, and in particular, Coach Belichick and Tom Brady for what they have had to endure this past week. A lot of the players came up and thanked me, and they felt that that shifted the whole dialogue of the following week. Take care of all the other garbage that's on the exterior, get that out of the way, get focused on our jobs, and go out there and have a hell of a night Sunday night.